can't believe you want to be here too. Do you also want to go to the bathroom with me? Now that you mention it, it doesn't seem like a bad idea. I won't do anything, unless you turn around. If that will make us live faster, fine. Miss, is everything okay? Do you want me to call the police? No, it's just my husband's bodyguard. Then why did you ask for help? You scared me. Because my husband is forcing me to have his child and I don't want to. Why don't you want to have a child? It's a blessing for everyone. Because I don't love him. He comes to my bed every night and I can find an excuse to say no anymore. Please, I can't have a child with a man like him. Um, think about your mother or sister. Please help me. Yeah, yeah, calm down. I'll see what can be done. I can do this. I'm a dentist, not a gynecologist. Just examine her. Uh, I, I, I need to go to the bathroom. The doctor already said it. I can't have children. I already knew you couldn't be so perfect. I knew I should have checked you before we got married. You lied to me, Marianne. I didn't lie. Of course you did. A woman who can't have children is an incomplete woman. I, I did. Sir, you should lower your voices. The patients are complaining. Thanks, Isaias. I'll talk to the doctor about this. I'm tired of Luis. What are you talking about? Mr. Luis only spoils you. Spoils me? All he wants from me is a child, and I don't want to have a child, not with him or anyone else. He comes to my bed every night to force me to do something I don't want to, and no matter how many times I say no, he won't stop. I just want to live my life and be happy. Uh, well, and why did you agree to marry him? I didn't agree to marry him. I had no say in that decision. My father sold me for a few million, but imagine how I feel knowing that my father sold his only daughter to an old pervert like him. Um, I'm sorry, I thought you loved him. Of course I don't love him. He <laughs> disgusts me. I will never marry a man like him. He forces me to do things I don't want to. I say yes, please, I beg you. Get me out of here. Get me out of here, he's gone to work, he won't be back until late, we have plenty of time to plan something, please. Miss, I'm sorry. My... My loyalty is with Mr. Liz. I say yes, please. This clinic is the only place where he doesn't have authority. Nobody will find out that you're helping me, please. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. Miss, Mr. Lewis already left. Why don't you go and tell him the truth and confront him? I've already explained it to you. I can tell him the truth. All he wants from me is a child and I won't allow it. But miss, I'm taking a big risk doing this. You're only doing the right thing. Thank you. Thank you. Why did you give the doctor so much money? I won't tell you. I don't trust you. I'm supposed to take care of everything for you. To do that, I need to know everything. And it feels like you're hiding something from me. And I should report it to Mr. Luis, putting Dr. Ricardo at risk. No. You can do that. He just helped me and I can't repay him that way. I need to know everything to protect you. Do you promise you'll protect me? I'm already sworn to do so. <sighs> the doctor helped me falsify a medical record so I could tell my husband that I can't have children. Doesn't that seem a bit cruel to your husband? Cruel? 
cruel has been what I've lived through with him. All those acts of disrespect you've witnessed. And yet you defend him. Why are you defending him? I'm not defending him. Of course you are. You've been working for him for many years, and, and don't you think he's a criminal? Of course I know that. And if you know, why can't you help me escape from him? I've been protecting you all this time. I work for the FBI. On this hard drive, I have all the evidence necessary to put your husband in jail. We needed to gather all the proof we could to keep you... to keep you safe. Why do you keep working for him? Because first we needed to protect you. And keep you safe. But it's over now. No one will harm you anymore. Come with me, please. I can't. I have to continue working to keep... Beautiful girls like you safe. Thank you. I'm just doing my job. <laughs>